The Russian Ministry of Defense has reportedly ordered three new prototypes of the UKAV S-70 Okotnik, which will serve as a wing drone for the fifth-generation fighter, the Su-57, but can also be operated from the ground. The Napo plant in Novosibirsk, known for the production of the frontline Su-24 and Su-34 bombers, would be in charge of their production. The tests could start in 2022 and continue until 2023. The Sikhoi S-70 Okotnik B, also referred to as Hunter B, is a Russian stealth heavy unmanned combat aerial vehicle, UCAV, being developed by Sikhoi and Russian aircraft corporation MiG. The drone is based on the earlier Mikoyan SCAT, designed by MiG and encompassing some technologies of the fifth-generation Sikhoi Su-57 fighter jet. On August 3, 2019, Okotnik performed its maiden flight. The drone flew for about 20 minutes at an altitude of 600 meters above Chkalov State Flight Test Center in Aktobinsk and made several circles around the airfield. According to unconfirmed industry insider data cited by TASS, the drone will boast a top speed of up to 1,000 km per hour and a combat range of roughly 4,000 km. With two internal weapons bays carrying up to 2,000 kg of unspecified munitions, the S-70 will apparently be able to execute precision strike missions deemed too risky or tactically impractical for the accompanying Su-57 pilot. The Su-70 is in the same class as the American Northrop Grumman X-47B carrier-based flying wing UAV, and it shares a very similar outward appearance to it. In Russian service, these air vehicles may work as unmanned companion assets to the new generation Su-57 fighters also being developed by the Sikhoi concern. As a true flying wing design, the Su-70 does away with any vertical planes, keeping all control surfaces mated to the blended wing body form. This includes ailerons, flaps and the usual surfaces needed for actions such as roll, pitch and the like. The blended wing body form is a well-accepted approach indicating a low-profile design with inherent stealth characteristics. The tricycle landing gear arrangement is of typical configuration for ground running, two main legs coupled with a nose leg. All are retractable into the underside of the aircraft to maintain aerodynamic efficiency at high speeds. Furthermore, the nose leg has a dual wheel arrangement while the main legs sport large wheels indicating the required support for this large, heavy class vehicle. The assumed power plant is a Sikhoi turbofan and this is buried in the aft section of the body, exhausting through a circular port at the rear of the vehicle. A single engine configuration is used. The engine is aspirated through a trapezoidal intake above and aft of the flying wing's apex, as in the X-47B. The S-70 prototype is 14 meters long and 3.3 meters in height, with a wingspan of 19 meters. The mass-produced drones are expected to be even bigger in the future. The S-70 Okotnik is designed to carry out a wide range of missions in an autonomous mode. The S-70B1 prototype is currently controlled manually by three operators. The Okotnik's effectiveness for deep penetration missions will depend on whether Russian engineers attempt to significantly refine the airframe with a more discreet engine configuration, perhaps incorporating a shrouded or S-shaped inlet. But even with only low-grade stealth, the S-70 could give Russia a useful tool for fast-reacting long-endurance reconnaissance and strike capabilities. The S-70 exhibits typical low-observable features, including cropped wingtips as first seen on the Lockheed F-117. However, the tailpipe for the engine believed to be a variant of the Saturn AL-41F that powers the Su-35S and Su-57 is left unshrouded, with a detrimental effect on radar and infrared signatures. This could be just an expedient measure to allow flight testing to begin, as is also likely to be the case concerning the conspicuous and unstealthy secondary intakes and antenna fairings located around the airframe.